course, you can change them to um, birthday, anniversary, anything you'd like. So we have two cards, and then we also have this cute little box with um, Ferrero Rochers in there with a um, peekaboo window box, okay? Um, let me show you the stamps that I'm using today. This is uh, Daffodil, Daffodil Daydream, and it has some um, coordinating dies to go with it. And there's some really neat ones in here too that um, build a daffodil. And I can show you one that I did, but I didn't use it tonight. Okay, and this box opens like this. So it's, it's really cute. And let me show you the other card. I can get this back in here. Okay, here's the other card. And I just love it. It looks so um, dainty, I think. So anyway, if you are um, new to my channel, make sure that you let us know so we can give you a warm welcome. And if you're returning, um, thank you for coming back. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, just a quick reminder, if you'd like these make and takes, all you have to do is place a minimum $40 order by this Saturday using this host code and um, I will send you these make and takes for free, okay? And also, um, you want to, um, if you would like to participate in the drawing that I give away um, every week, um, please share this video, um, whether it be on um, Facebook or Pinterest or even Instagram, and let me know that you shared it, and I will put you in the drawing. Okay, so thank you, and we're going to go ahead and get started, and I think we'll start with this one here, and the color I'm using, it seems to be my favorite color lately. This is Melon Mambo, and I'm using this gold um, fine shimmer paper. I'm embossing in gold on shimmery white paper and watercoloring. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started with this. I am using a couple of new items today too that I think you'll like. So um, first of all, this is the portrait style. So this is 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half. Now um, these will be on my blog tomorrow morning. So with all the dimensions and you can find them at stampinggala.com. Okay, so um, if you notice on here, let me show you this frame that's cut out, and that's from the um, frame florets die um, package. And so what I did, instead of cutting two different pieces of, of cardstock, I did, I cut it out of the background like this, and it's gonna be covered up with this. So that way you save on paper, and also you save um, on the weight. Okay, so this piece right here is, is basic white and it's embossed with the quartofoil embossing folder. And I really like it. Okay, so let me show you. Um, we're gonna come back to this in a little bit because I wanna um, stamp the image first and place it on here so you can see where we need to sponge the background because if you notice on here, I added some color back there. Okay, so we're, like I said, we're using shimmery white cardstock, and I'm using this because um, it is watercolor. So we're going to ink this up with um, Versamark, and I hope that I cut this piece of cardstock big enough. Let me see. Ooh, it's pretty close. I don't know what I was thinking. It should be good. If not, I'll cut another piece. So ladies, I am leaving for my cruise on Saturday. So these, um, anybody who places an order before I leave, if it's placed tonight or tomorrow, I can get the projects cut and mail them before I leave. But you do have till Saturday and that way, I will mail them when I get back. Okay, this is just, it just made it here. So I am using gold embossing powder and we're gonna just heat this up.
Now, my next cruise, it looks like it's going to be in January or February, and it will be to hopefully the Southern Caribbean. Okay, that looks really good. You always want to tilt it a little bit and look at it in the light to make sure that you have it um, pretty well um, heated because if you don't, it will rub right off. Okay, so I'm using Melon Mambo. And also I wanted to remind you that it is down to the um, last little bit of this catalog, both catalogs. On the 29th of next week, we get to see which items are being discontinued and all the end colors are going. So I'm telling you that because if there's something that you want, you really want to get it right away because um, once they're gone, they're gone. So all I'm doing here is just kind of watercoloring in the Melon Mambo, the daffodils, and and daffodils do come in other colors besides the yellow. And I just have enough on the brush. This is the um, water painter. I love these. And you know, at first I was afraid to use these. Now they're kind of my go-to. So I'm doing these larger petals first. I still have helpers here today, um, finishing up, getting everything packed for the cruise, all the projects. And it's crazy what the luggage is costing to, to go. So I might have just the clothes on my back. <laughs> okay, so I'm adding some little bit of detail. Okay, I'm just going to change to, um, let me see, I'm going to change to the pear pizzazz now. <laughs> One thing different from last year when we went on our cruise, we don't have to do the COVID testing. And I'm so thankful for that because it was just so um, nerve wracking. In fact, one of my very best friends, she tested positive the day we had to test and I was with her and so she couldn't go. So then I was afraid I was going to be um, positive, but thank God I wasn't. Okay, so I have that done. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut this. And what should I do? Let me grab the die. Okay, so here is the die right here. So we're going to just place this on here. And I'm going to run it through the big shot on my side table right here. I still call this the big shot and it's not a big shot. <laughs> I usually like to do this ahead of time, but all of a sudden it was like 10 2 and I thought it was still early. Okay, so look how pretty this turned out. 
All right, so let me show you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna bring this back in and what's gonna happen is this is gonna be on here and then this is gonna be off to the side like this. So I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna put this aside right here. I'm gonna grab the green or the pear pizzazz ink and did I? Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it to the side and these are our cute little um, blending brushes and I kind of rub it off first so it doesn't get too, um, too much ink. And I'm just gonna lightly rub this and it'll add just enough color. And I'll put it back on, see if I have, I'll just do a little bit more. Okay. All right. And then I have this cute little stamp here and I'm gonna add a little bit of, this is kind of like just some dots. I'm gonna do a couple of rows of this. Just to give it a little bit of gold speckles. And you'll see what I mean when I get this on here. Okay, kind of looks messy here, but it'll look good by the time we're done. All right, so this is going to go on here, just like this. So I need the glue. And we will have to trim this just a tiny bit. When you emboss it kind of, um, there. More than a tiny bit. Hi, Monica, are you new? Is this your first time watching live? Okay, just a tiny bit more. And then this direction. All right, so that looks much better. Well, welcome, Monica. How did you find me? Okay, so this is going to go up on dimensionals right here. We're at in Alabama. I used to go to 
Aniston a lot a long time ago. All right, so this is going to go on here. All right. It does look a little crooked, so let me see if I can straighten this out. There. Okay, so then we're going to take our little frame that we cut out and um, add some glue. So just a little bit around the whole thing. And the thing is, when you're gl gluing on this type of embossing folder, it needs a little bit more than normal, only because it needs places to stick to because it is not like flat if that makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna put the frame on there. Hi Debbie, are you new as well? And then this is gonna go up on dimensionals and see you can see just a little bit of the gold. So Monica, how did you find me? And Debbie, are you new as well, Debbie White? Okay, so this is gonna go on right here, just like this. All right, so far so good. All right, and then we're gonna take this piece, let's see if I can get this straight. And we're going to stamp Happy Easter. And again, um, great, Monica. Um, again, if you um, don't need an Easter card, you can always use this as a birthday. Now I want to make sure I get this straight. And this may be a little difficult. Yep, I'm going to turn it over and... Not like that. That's better. And I'm going to just trim it off. Well, thank you. All right, so I'm just going to trim this off here. And So we'll straighten this out and a little bit on this side. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut this on an angle, just like that. So this will slide under here and I'll put that up on dimensionals. Thank you, Debbie, I appreciate that. So ladies, again, if you would like these make and takes, and sometimes people ask me, what are make and takes? The make and takes are the kits for to make these cards. So it would come with everything you need to make these cards without the stamps, you can't, um, I can't send stamped images. You would have to have the stamp. So I have everything cut for you and this would be cut out as well. And then you would just stamp it and you would get the three kits for, um, and you know what, I'll show you what it looks like. Hey Cindy, can you grab me one of the um, make and takes how we send it? Oh. So that way well, you can see what it looks like when you get it. Anyone, yeah, thanks. So this yeah. is last week's. 
so you would get the kit just like this. So it has the things, the die cut and um, the diamonds and also the ribbon. Um, so you would just have to stamp it yourself. So one of the things people like to do is dye this or buy the stamp set if they don't have the one I'm using this week. It's against the poly, uh, Stampin' Up's policy for me to stamp it. Mario, are you a stamper? Okay, so we're going to put this on here just like that. <gasps> Where'd you find that? And then the other stamp. Oh my gosh, I was missing this tiny, which one was it in? I was missing this tiny little <laughs> stamp. No, I don't think that's it, you guys. Oh, you don't think that's it? No. Oh. It's a different shape. Oh. All right. Yes, this is new ribbon, and this is um, from the online exclusives. And the item number will be on my blog in the morning. It comes with a gold and silver in one package. And these are some of my favorites. You get three different or four different colors. That's awesome, Mario. Are you a demonstrator as well? Okay, so here is the outside of the card. And then for the inside, we're just going to take two pieces of basic white. And one is five by three and three quarters. And the other one is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. <laughs> That's so funny, Monica. Everybody says that. I'll be doing another two more bows so you'll see it again. I don't have any guys on my team, and I would love to have a guy on my team. <laughs> I'd love to have um, more people, period, on my team. Okay. So we're going to put these two together. Let me get that out of the way so I don't mess up here. So you're a demonstrator. Um, you must, you might be on um, Kevin's team or um, let me see, Brian. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and trim this off a little bit. Okay. Tonight's stamp set is the, let me show you, Daffodil Daydream. And this has been in the line a couple of years, so it may be dis being discontinued. So, and it has this awesome um, set, uh, die set to go with it. This is like a builder set. Um, and I'll show you really quickly. This is one of the daffodils I built with it. So let me turn it over on the back here so you can see. And then it has the leaves. I messed up. I stuck it in the wrong color. But you can see right here how it would look. And this has a few different pieces layered together. 
Okay. So that is your first card. So we're going to move on to the second card. So let me show you that one. That is this one right here. Okay. So let me grab that. And this one I'm using some new products with as well. So this is also, I usually do a portrait style and a um, landscape style, but tonight I'm doing both portrait. So again, this is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. Okay, so this one, we're just going to um, adhere these two together. And one is embossed and the other is, is just a backing. And people always ask me, why do I double it? I double it because to me, it looks better. And I think it looks, um, I think it looks more finished. And more polished, I would say. Okay, so we're going to trim this off a tiny bit. So I'm going to be welcoming like 50 people on the cruise this weekend. And we're going to be having a lot of fun stamping. Um, so if you would like to hear about our next cruise. I'll be posting that um, soon. And you might want to um, subscribe to my newsletter because that's where you're going to find everything. In addition to that, I'll be posting very soon about our um, retreat in the fall. And that's in Finley, Ohio. In October, October 20, 21st, 2nd and 3rd. And it's always a Christmas theme for that. The glue I'm using is Nouveau. And one of the ladies that actually is on here, I saw her earlier, she is coming to my classes and she, she let me try hers and I just love it. Nouveau. It's kind of expensive, but to me, I like it. Okay, so we have this. So I'm going to um, put this on. Let me, did I do dimensionals? Yes, I did. I'll tell you what, I have the best helpers. <laughs> They're working behind the scenes, and I'll tell you what, I could not do all that you ladies see me do, and guys, if I didn't have the helpers that I have. So this is going to go on right here. I don't know why I can't get things straight on the, when I'm online. Okay. Now, also, I have this piece of, um, let me see. Let me trim this off. And I'm going to trim off, like, let me see. Almost two inches. And I'm going to cut this in half. And the reason being is I am so low on this paper, but I am going to put it right there. So this way I can just um, cheat and stretch it out a little bit. So I'm just going to slide it under right like that. Um, you know what, Monica? I'm not sure. Um, you can Google it, um, to Lorraine, Ohio. Is that what you're saying? I don't live in Finley, so that's why I don't know, but you know what? I'm going to flip this around and I'll tell you why in a minute. 
because I'm looking at this and see how it's shorter here. I want to do the same pattern all the way down. Okay. All right. All right. So then another set I'm using today is brand new. And anyway, this is the radiating, radiating stitch, stitches. Isn't it cute? Anyway, this is an online exclusive as well. So um, I die cut this one right here. So that is this piece right here. Okay. Laura, I know you live in Ohio. Do you know how far? Um, oh, it looks like Pam answered. Okay. So this is going to go up on dimensional. Or no, this is going to just be glued down. Well, just know, everybody, that I go on at 7 o'clock every Wednesday. So don't wait for the notification because I don't know why you get it late. Okay, so this is going to be centered right in here. like this okay all right and then I have a piece of um, melon mambo and a piece of basic white that I embossed with the basic embossing folders and that's new as well how far is it from Finley oh oh my gosh The Finley event is so fun. And um, well, right now, if it's seven, um, I started at seven, and right now it is 7 30 Eastern time. So I just put this together here, and then this will go up on dimensionals. I don't, I think you're three hours behind us. So it might be 4.30 your time there. So it would be four o'clock that your time that I would start. Okay, so this is going to go right in the center here. Make sure. All right, so now we're going to do some more stamping. And again, I'm using shimmery white. This time we're going to stamp some butterflies. I'm only going to stamp one even though there's more than that on here. Okay, I'm going to heat this. The retreat is October 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Okay, so then we're going to watercolor this, and what we're going to use is Melon Mambo and Hair Pizzazz. So what we're going to do here, make sure, it's very simple, I'm just doing some Melon Mambo here.
and I'm not necessarily following the pattern here. And then I'll clean off my brush. All you have to do is just squeeze it a little bit, get the water on there. And then we're just going to do the ends and kind of bring it in and blend it a little bit. with the um, Melon Mambo. Okay. So that's what it's gonna look like. Okay. So let me close this up. And we have a cute little die to go with this right in the same set, the Daffodil set. However, I did already die color them and die cut them. So I have a few here. So we're going to center these. Let me make this bow to be a little bit smaller. And I'll trim off the ends. Okay, and what I like to do is to, to get these centered properly. I'm just going to cut some of these because I want them on dimensionals. I'm just going to put a little dimensional in the middle of the butterfly on the back and kind of bend the wings up. And the first one I'm going to put down here, just watching the side, the bottom here and the sides. And the same thing here. If you um, go to my blog at stampingala.com, you will, um, the newsletter link will pop up. Where, okay, so I do this top one next. And then I'll do the center one, and drop, just drop it in the middle. Monica, are you from Ohio originally? Okay. I'm going to bring this up a tiny bit. And bring this one down a tiny bit. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and just put a Gold little festive pearl right on each one. Kind of just adds to it. And if you wanted to, you could, of course, put one. Let me show you. Right here and right here, but there were, it's really not necessary. So, so far, isn't that cute? Okay, so on the inside... All I'm doing is taking the basic white paper. Hey, Tina. And I have another butterfly. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here. Right in the lower corner. Now I'm not going to put a gold pearl here because this is going to be on the inside of the card. I'll trim this off. Now, um, while you're on my blog, you might as well um, sign up for the news. There's two different signups, one for the newsletter and the other one to be notified every time I post something new on my blog. Those are the blog updates. Um, you might want to do that as well while you're there. And a couple other tabs you might want to check out um, across the top. If you're on a laptop across the top 
it will have um, different tabs. And one of them is the gallery. So you might want to check that out. It'll show all different cards they've made and posted over the last few years. And if there's one you're interested in, you can click on it and it'll bring you right to that post. Then if there's a PDF um, that goes along with it, it will have that as well towards the bottom of the post. So that's one tip. And the other tip, um, if you look at um, across the top, there's one that says create a la carte. That is, you might want to click on that, and that's a subscription um, class to go every month. You can um, read all about it there. Okay, so here you go. Here is the second project. Okay, and then finally, we're going to make this one right here. I think this is so cute. Okay, so I do... I'm going to show you how this is cut, okay? So first of all, this is um, this is scored at, well, first of all, it's cut eight by six and a half. And the um, eight inch side is scored at one and a half, six, and seven and a half. And then on the, this way, it is scored at, um, one and one and a half, three, four and a half, and six. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we're going to cut this. Okay. Oh, in this square, what I did was I took the rectangle stitch die, and it goes. I die cut it right here in the second. Um, rectangle here and that's going to create the window and I'll show you I have this right here when I did my sample I Xerox this so I'm going to put that up as well okay so let me show you um, we're going to go ahead and trim this this is going to be the tab so we're going to cut this all the way off this is the easy part and same thing here. So this side, it's all going to be sealed. So this one is going to be a tab. That's going to be the bottom. And these two are going to be tabs. So we're going to make this into a tab. And then going to go here and these two on the end are going to be tabs as well. It'll make sense when we put it together. Okay, so this is going to be the bottom, the one that shows. So you want that to be straight. And these are all going to be folded in first. Then on this side, we're going to cut this all the way across to here. And that's what's going to hold it closed. So we're not going to take that one off. So we're going to first go across like this. And this tab, this is going to be real slim as far as, because we don't want it to be so loose that it pops out. I made the mistake on that other one. Okay. And the rest are, um, I'll show you here first. This is going to be a tab. That's going to be folded in. This we're going to cut right across. And this one's going to be a tab. It's going to be straight.
Okay. All right, so it's going to look like that. Okay. All right. So since the window is there, we're going to turn it over and we're going to put some tear and tape on here. So we can put a piece of a window sheet on here to keep it closed. Unless you can just tear with your fingers. And then right here. And here. Okay. Thank you, Monica. Are you a demonstrator as well? Okay, so then I have a window sheet here, a piece of a window sheet, and I'm just going to place it right over top of here. Okay, so that way, whatever you put in here, it won't fall out. All right, and then we're going to place some tear and tape here. All right, so now it's going to begin to make sense. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half and this over. So that'll create the box. Okay, so again, this is going to be the bottom. So what we're going to do is um, fold these in just like that. And then this one is the last one to go. And that's why it needed to be, so you don't want a tab on top. All right just like this. And the last one is the one that go, is folded in last that goes away from the fronts. So you don't want, for instance, you don't want the, the seam there. You want it smooth there. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue on here and then make sure this is kind of squared. And what I do usually is take the bone folder and just kind of push it down to connect. Okay. All right. So now I have these candies. And I could leave it in the package, but it looks so much nicer if, if I don't. All right, so I'm just going to slide these in here. All right, and then what, again, remember, I this part was cut off because we didn't want, this part is this right here. Okay, so the tab's going first, and then this time it's going to just, Going like this. If I can get it. There. Okay? Just like that. All right? All right. So now I'm going to show you what I have here. This die is from the All That Die Set. It's the one that goes with the that mail set with the car stuff or the barbecue stuff. And then I have the gold circle. And then this is from the, um, the stylish shapes. So we're just going to glue these two together. Now, ladies, if you are interested in joining Stampin' Up! as a hobbyist or a business builder, I would love to have you on my team. Okay, so 
if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to chat with you about it. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals behind here. Now remember, I'll be on my cruise this week, so I won't be seeing you next Wednesday. But I'm going to try and do some lives from, um, from where I'm at. Okay, so this is going to go on right here. And we have a... I did some more of the butterflies. And You know, I forgot to stamp this. Oh, well. Let me see if I can still do it. I forgot to get the speckles on it. Guess I'm thinking about that cruise. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be perfect, so this it'll work. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but I messed up. <laughs> yeah, see, it's fine. If it were a, a sentiment or a real solid image, I would not do this. Okay. All right. So that's better. All right. So we're just going to put it back on there. And then we have the, let's see. If I, all right. So this one is going to go like right here. I'm going to put another one on. Oh, Shelly, it was great. The craft show went really well. So, ladies, if you share this, um, let me know so I can um, include you in our drawing. And I see Courtney is on now, and she won last week. All right, and this is going to go here. We're going to put some gold, little dots on it here, the little pearls, and then um, we're just about done. So please, please, please use your the host code so I can send you the make and takes. Um, it has to be a minimum of a $40 order, and I'll mail them out to you. Okay, so what I'm doing is just turning this over like this. So CRS, <laughs> I think I know what you mean by that, but um, what's your last name, Kathy, if that's your name? 
and I could have that same saying or name tag. Okay, so we have this and we need a glue dot. Okay, so the, it's going to go right here. All right. So let me show you again. It just opens up like that, just like a regular box here. The other side is sealed. There we go. All right. So ladies, here are your projects. I hope you like them today. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I really appreciate you spending your Wednesdays with me and giving me the opportunity to earn your business. Um, anyway, here is the host code and um, my website is right there. So ladies, thank you again so much. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Have a great night. Bye-bye.